Hey guys, Ewan here and welcome to the Old School Labs YouTube channel. I haven't been around, I haven't been making videos for the last 2 or 3 days and I apologize for that, but you can guess the reason. Honestly, Serbia is not hit that bad, we don't have a lot of cases of coronavirus yet, but uh, we do have the curfew and um, it's gonna get bad anytime soon, but the reason why I took those 2 or 3 days off was because Maybe you guys know, but I was prepping for a show. I was prepping for Serbia Nationals and Balkan Championships and potentially maybe even trying to compete at a pro qualifier and uh, God, I looked so good. And I still do, I guess. I mean, the prep was going so well, but you know, this stuff happens and we are all affected by it. Many, many people are affected way more than me, so I shouldn't be complaining. There are people who are dead, so many of them at this point, around 10,000 people. There are people who were prepping for their pro debut. For example, Blessing of Oribo right here. And we are going to talk about him and other bodybuilders who are preparing for their competitions in a moment. Some of them gave up, some of them didn't, but uh, they are not the ones who uh, suffered the most. I mean, I can name so many things, but nobody had it worse than people who died due to this and their families. So my thoughts and prayers go to these families that were struck by this. The problem is real. It's there. It's definitely there, so please guys, stay home, stay safe. And guys, I don't have to do this right now, old school lab. Honestly, I ordered a couple of boxes of their supplements, just in case. A couple of containers of vintage brown protein, because you never know when the meat is gonna go away, who knows how long this quarantine is gonna last. So maybe at one point, the only source of protein that I'm gonna have is protein shakes. But let's hope that doesn't come to that, but just in case, I bought a couple of, actually, I ordered a couple of containers, and you guys should do that as well. Not just protein, but also maybe some BCAAs to preserve your muscle when you're not training, and so on and so forth. And I can tell you that these guys have some really good high-quality supplements. Also, guys, I wanted to tell you that if you are not able to go to the gym, guys, come on, I'm sure most of you can't do 100 push-ups in a set. Before I started lifting, I was able to do like uh, 5 muscle-ups, uh, 100 push-ups, I don't know, 30 pull-ups, 40 dips. So if you can't do that, you have like a month probably, maybe less, maybe more, but you have some time to stay home and to become a push-up master. If you have pull-ups, great. If you don't, just do push-ups every single day. And trust me, if you are a beginner, if you're not doing bench press with 250 pounds, you're gonna grow from push-ups. <laughs> trust me. Pumps are gonna be amazing and if you're eating right and if you're doing everything perfectly and you're doing those push-ups every single day and you're pushing the progress every single day, guys, you're gonna make progress at home, trust me. So let's get back to the bodybuilders. Here you can see Blessing Awaribu. This guy was going really, really hard. He was supposed to compete at the Iron Classic Australia, that was supposed to be his pro debut, and Iron Classic Brazil, unfortunately, they were delayed or cancelled, how did I say cancelled, because they were delayed uh, until further notice, and that means they're cancelled, and it doesn't seem like they're gonna happen this year, maybe like at the end of the year, and I don't know how these guys are gonna qualify for the Mr. Olympia, but maybe that's a topic for a different video. Unfortunately, Blessing of Oribu, everything was going so well for him, he looked amazing, this was the best shape of his life, and unfortunately, he's not gonna be able to do it. Again, so many people had it much worse than him, but it's 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 really shame. It's really shame, and I'm sure he he's devastated, just like I am. Probably even more because this is a pro debut. This is a pro debut, and this guy would send a message. He would send a message if he stepped on that pro stage. But it's not gonna happen. Most likely, I would say. And here you can see that he says uh, feels good to have some carbs back in. It means that he put in some carbs. It doesn't mean he's uh, done with the prep. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna just give up. I'm sure he's gonna try to keep uh, the level of body fat that he has right now for a while and uh, if things somehow resolve themselves, he's gonna compete again. Probably not gonna happen, but maybe, maybe. And I'm sure he's hoping. He doesn't wanna let go of this amazing body right away. He's gonna probably be on the stuff and on the regimen for a while, just like me, just like, just like probably most people. But it really, really seems like that. We're gonna compete only after September, it seems like that. Ian Wallier is uh, 10 weeks out of, I don't know what, maybe Chicago Pro, maybe something else, I'm not sure what exactly, but he says he's not giving up, he's actually pushing, he's pushing hard on his prep, and he says you never know with this coronavirus. 
he's not sure what's gonna happen of course nobody's sure and he's staying optimistic he doesn't want to quit his prep although he didn't really get too far it was still uh, like mid prep for him he didn't get his glutes peeled for example but he was close he was close to getting in that shape for a competition i'm not sure what what which competition exactly he was training for what was he aiming maybe it was on classic brazil i'm not sure but uh, apparently he's gonna do a competition in 10, in 10 weeks if things resolve will they resolve you tell me guys but it really doesn't seem like that it's probably gonna be maybe fall season like after september but maybe even next year we also have anton Wallyant, and i'm a huge fan of this guy so first of all he became a pro very very young then he became a drug addict recreational drugs took his life away he became an addict and then a couple of years later he came back to bodybuilding on a big door he got really good contracts he really works very very hard on achieving an amazing physique and on his social media as well this guy is hilarious and last time he was prepping for a show he got a bicep tear come on imagine that what a, what a shame and he wasn't able to compete and he looked his best now another prep he looks even better than that and then this thing happens so i'm really really sorry for this guy but he he doesn't quit he doesn't give up he didn't give up at all and he is very very optimistic he believes that he's gonna compete and i'm amazed this truly amazes me these guys some of them have really really strong mindsets or they are ignorant to the facts but it really seems like it's not gonna happen and i was devastated when i heard about it i really lost a lot of motivation but some of these guys are really holding it together and uh, maybe it's gonna happen maybe it's gonna happen not likely but uh, anton Wallyant is not stopping his prep he's pushing just as hard and yeah goddamn, he looks amazing he looks really amazing i can see him being the top three in these uh, Arnold Classic Brazil, Arnold Classic Australia shows. Depends who else shows up, but it's possible. Like, he can crack the top three. Look at him. He looks amazing. Top six, for sure. Man. Top three is a little bit optimistic, but top six is possible. If anything happens. But it's probably not gonna happen again. I said it a million times at this point. And these guys were so lucky. They caught the last train. Big Ramy, not so much. He wanted the victory. He wanted to win and he was third so for him it would have probably been better if he didn't even compete but for dexter who was second almost won the show at the age of 50 and obviously for william bonek who won the damn thing second time now and won a lot of cash for himself that he doesn't have to split with his coach former coach neil hill and i'm sure he's happy about that he did well and steve kuklo taking that fourth spot also and probably the biggest winner here the person who is the most the, the, who is the happiest is Sergio Oliva. I mean, just look at that face. I don't know who is happier here, him or William. It seems like he's happier with that fifth spot, which was amazing. Guys, I really shared the moment with him while I was watching the live stream. I really felt what he felt and I was so happy for him. I don't think I ever saw something like that. Uh, myself being happy for somebody that much because he was honest on that stage. He truly, truly expressed his feelings and his emotions on that stage and that's something I respect and I was really happy for him and he he got lucky, he caught the last train. Imagine if this thing with Corona happened a little bit earlier, he wouldn't be able to compete and to show to the world that he can stand next to the very best in the world and hold his ground. So next time we see him on the stage, hopefully it's gonna be a big show like Mr. Olympia and hopefully he will make even more progress and based on... Uh, his mindset right now, he seems really motivated. Maybe he's gonna skip the, the Olympia, but I think he's gonna try for it. If he skips it, uh, he can try to improve even more and next time, like la next year, he can compete at the Mr. Olympia, qualify before the Olympia, not doing the Arnold Classic, make more progress and, you know, make some big impact because it's possible. This guy showed his potential. Nathan Diasha, in the meantime, doesn't give a damn what is going on in the world. He is going strong. He is going strong. Look at his this is incline dumbbell presses with 100 kilograms on the side. That's 225, almost 225 on the side, guys. I'm sure many of you watching this can't even bench 225 on a barbell, <laughs> right? Let alone do incline dumbbell presses with 100 kilos. Damn, Nathan is strong. This guy is strong as much as he is thick. And he's getting bigger and thicker by the day. 
And whenever I see him at the next show, I'm not sure what, when that is going to happen, but he's going to be probably one of the top guys. Top guys, yeah. He's not that old. He's pretty young. And he's driven. He is driven. I don't know when he's going to compete because of this coronavirus, of course. Many shows are delayed. But whenever it happens for him, he's going to be great. And yeah, I get it. He doesn't have the perfect structure, but he has a lot of super impressive body parts. He was able to beat Cedric at the Mr. Olympia because he comes conditioned every time. And he grows year after year. And whenever we see him next, he's going to be even bigger than the last time. 2019 wasn't his biggest year. Uh, he was conditioned, but he was bigger the year before. And if he brings the fullness and the conditioning, the combination of those two uh, in 2020, hopefully, or 2021, wow, that's going to be some package. Let me tell you, he's going to look amazing. While everybody is trying to come up with a workout routine at home, to show it to their followers and their Instagram and YouTube channels, to use the situation, of course, and to help other people as well. Larry Wheels is lifting furniture. So he's lifting his couch and he's doing <laughs> overhead couch presses, I guess we can call it. I mean, this guy is insanely strong and I'm just looking when this bat is gonna fall and destroy his apartment or <laughs> break his TV. But it seems like he can control it. He has some strongman uh, background. He used to train with Thor, with Hafter Bjarnson. And I guess he learned a couple of things about the balance. So he can lift this couch easily. And he doesn't have to do push-ups with his legs on the couch or anything like that. And this guy is strong as hell. And uh, look at this. He's curling his couch. How many of you can do this with the help of your two friends? Oh, this guy... This guy is the definition of strength. And he's very, very young. He's like one year older than me. Can you imagine how strong he's gonna be in three years? God, this guy is strong. It's a house. We also have a new physique update of Dennis Wolf. Dennis was a top three Mr. Olympic contender. And he was one of those guys who can really, really bring the conditioning. Now, one of the reasons why he was able to bring such high level of conditioning was his insanely fast metabolism. Milo Sharchu spoke about the protocols that he had him doing uh, coming into the show and he was eating like 5,000 grams of carbs per day. Guys, 5,000. 5,000 grams. You know how much food that is? You don't. You don't know. That's, that's just the amount of carbs that I eat in a month. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that when I'm in a prep so I mean it's not exactly that but if you have those zero carbs days I mean these guys just crazy crazy metabolism and this is what happens when he's not pushing the envelope when he's not eating insanely large amounts of foods he just loses it he loses a lot of volume and right now he looks skinny and at this point we can safely say that he's not coming back to bodybuilding he lost all of his gains he lost all his gains. And for the very end of this video, in case you are a little bit scared and worried and panicking because of the coronavirus, Dorian Yates says, we are being sold fear, manipulation, and loss of freedom. Keep your mind and eyes open. It seems like Dorian Yates doesn't really believe in this whole situation. I mean, I'm sure he's aware of what's going on. I, I don't know what. I don't really have any conspiracy theories. I saw a couple of them. But I just didn't want to bother myself for reading too much. Dorian says, The current panic and action have nothing to do with illness or epidemic. All flu watch indicators just show baseline data. And this is some Dr. Wolfgang Vodard, and he's a head of health and council of Europe. So, I mean, this is just uh, Dorian Yates and his posts. So, stay home. That's the take-home message. Literally, take this home and stay home. Don't go out, don't socialize, watch movies, do push-ups if you can go to the gym. Just try, and stay safe, just let it pass. And we are going to be back to normal and everything is going to be fine. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my rant about this coronavirus and the updates of the bodybuilders during this coronavirus period. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, like it down below. Tell me what you think about this whole situation about the bodybuilders, what they should do, what we should do, what should I do, tell me down below. Once again, like the video and subscribe, because I'm going to be posting new content very regularly from now on. So I'm back, baby. And you don't forget to subscribe once again. And also don't forget to keep it old school.